And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Aurelian Soul Vi. Going to be our first deck today. We're going to have a lot of interesting decks. We're going to have four brand new decks that we have never played before today. So this is going to be a lot of fun trying out some different champion combinations. This one's going to be Targon and PNZ, kind of like Heimerdinger Vi, if you know, you're know you maybe used to that deck. But we're not playing Heimerdinger, we're going big, we're going Aurelian Soul, and we're going to be going more Invoke, fo focusing on a lot of Invoke with Star Shaping, Solari Priestess, we got our Spacey Sketchers doing some Invoking in here. So you know we're going to be playing good blockers, um, some de decent card advantage with some uh, cycling stuff like some treasure and things like that and you know pale cascade drawing some cards but then we're going to be creating a lot of celestial cards with our invoke using vi as just a, a card that does a really good job controlling the board and getting us to a later game it does you know it's a great uh, it's a great card at removing champions blocking doing all sorts of stuff like that and getting us to the late game and then us playing a really in soul all right, so that's our first deck today. We're going to go play our five games in ranked like we're going to do with each of these decks. And uh, we're going to be playing the brand new holiday board. Uh, haven't played this one yet. Just just got some, uh, just put some coins on the old account. And so let's see how this, uh, this holiday themed winter board is. Okay, uh, hand, hand looks good. We're playing against Nocturne Diana. Hand looks good. Now, I like the Spacey Sketcher because I just think Spacey Sketcher is pretty strong, but I don't really want to play Spacey Sketcher on turn one. I want to give us some more time to find some things that I really want to discard to invoke. I could discard the other Spacey Sketcher, but don't really feel like I need to do that. See, I'm going to have... Shield Bearer on two, Priestess on three, and I think like turn four I can go like this, the Sketcher and so we can kind of have a lot more information about our hand and everything of what we want to discard and then find some Celestial card and play that also on turn four. Scorching light. Yeah, so Violet with the donation deck for um, some Soraka Tom Kench. Thank you, Violet. You trespass on sacred lands, unbeliever. You know not the meaning of sacred. You cannot sway me. We're down to thirteen. Sunward. All right, got that written down. All right, so don't need to go with Spacey Sketcher yet. These are all good options. I go with this Cosmic Inspiration. That card's really strong. Last turn. Clad in shining sunlight. I right, never really drew anything better to discard than this. Still paint is just accidental art. Mother moon Burn away doubt. Forgive me for truth. Follow the horizon. The biggest problem here is I am expecting a Pale Cascade from them with this yes, attack this out. But I can't really make a great block against Pale Cascade. Or really have a great turn against Pale Cascade. Because like I, I would l like to hush this Crescent Guardian immediately. I guess I have to hush Lunari Shadestalker after they Pale Cascade, I guess. Hold still. So I, I guess I have to trade away my traveler. Alright, 
right, touche, no kill cascade. The Trickster is my last um, other Celestial card for this Cosmic Inspiration. It's not easy. See, like, I'm worried about them, like, having a turn, like, where they play, like, their attack turn, like, they play Nocturne to give my stuff the minus one, minus zero, and, you know, about to do a bunch of attacks and stuff, so maybe I take the Crescent Strike and stun some attackers. Now, I want to play this before Vi. I don't really want them to know about Vi. Yeah, like, Crescent Strike will be good against, like, this Trickster. Hey, Arany. Uh, yeah, just started. This is our very first game. Calm mind and open heart. Read the night. Eat this! So, just started, but deck's doing good so far. In this very limited sample. Got these get excited, but we don't have things to discard for them. The moon approaches her zenith. May her silver That's light ephemeral. enshroud us. Injustice must be met with action. Revolution is in the nature of moon and stars. I'm doing those two because I'm planning on using Hush on this Crescent Guardian, which I guess maybe I should just use Get Excited on that Crescent Guardian instead of Hush. I guess that would make more sense. So Hush just turns into a regular 3-3. Status Shock draws a card, but... Yeah, it feels weird to discard Static Shock with how it replaces itself. So I'm not worried about Trickster, so they only have one other card in hand. I really hope they can't stop Cosmic Inspiration with, you know, I really hope that not, neither of those two cards are a removal spell. I want to play this Mountain Go first, see what they do. Okay, so they have one card in hand. I really hope that one card is not a removal spell. I have no because obviously I, I need this trickster to stay alive for this cosmic inspiration to go off. I feel like if it, if it was a removal spell, yeah, as I was gonna say, if it was a removal spell, they would probably just play it right away, how they're just sitting there waiting. Makes me feel good about it not being a removal spell. Uh, no, if, yeah, so if they had, like, if they had Hush in hand, I don't think that that would make the trickster lose the Celestial, no. no I think it makes it lose, like, this text down here, but not the card type. Here's the fun part! So I want to challenge this thing, even though that almost kills my Vi. Because then that allows me to attack him with the Mountain Goat. And not worry about the Mountain Goat dying. And we can attack with that thing, we can attack with this thing. I would trade 3-3 three, three for 3-2, three, which in the face of a bunch of 2-1s is not a trade I want to do. Alright, so this gives me Gem. I can either use Gem to reheal this Vi that just took a bunch of damage, or I can have Gem be discarded to get excited. So that's probably the option I want to do. Yeah, I got second goat, which is which is really like third goat. 
because we already discarded one goat. All right, see a gem. If I hush the trickster, it does lose the ephemeral. So it wouldn't really make sense to hush that thing. Because then it would be able to just stay out. It'd be ephemeral the next turn, but it'd be able to stay out to block during my attack. And I wouldn't really want that. Same deck. Is this the same opponent? Maybe same opponent. Same opponent. I'll keep get, get excited, because we, we'll have the Chump Wump that will get us some Mushroom Clouds, so the first few turns are going to be a little sketch. <laughs> but if we can get the Chump Wump, we get some Mushroom Clouds, we can use you know discard those with our Dredger, our Get Excited, our Spacey Sketcher. Opponent taking the full clock, they may not be super happy about getting paired against somebody they just lost to. <laughs> your weapon, Sunwind. One star's whoopsie is another spark. Punish transgression. Sorry, Solari Priestess. Can I paint you? Don't have time for you. And go with the Moon Silver. We just need to speed up life. So we're gonna have Moon Silver be able to play this Chump Lump on turn three. So now I got these mushroom clouds to discard. And find new cards. Chump Lump is a good three drop. You, know, you get a three mana four three. So you're looking at Loyal Badger Bear, but like the, the other way. So, th so you get a four three for three, plus you generate two free cards. Create two free cards. It's a good three drop. Alright, couldn't stop that Pell Cascade from trading up. Very good Pell Cascade. But did make them spend all their mana. Night flowers upon the blade. Good news. Okay, I wanted to see if they would attack with both. Hey, Michael. No, oh, two Aurelian Souls. Their scent travels on the night air. I'd rather have Solari Priestess than one of these Aurelian Souls. Would have rather led with. Or that Solari Priestess I discarded earlier. Mother Moon. You cannot hold us down. Alright, Chump Bump's good. And yeah, they could have another Pale Cascade, but... Such is life. Good spacey sketcher draw. All right, they're gonna make some more five three overwhelms. Okay, Ash Ezreal field rush. Darkness. Cool. So they're at one out of five right now. So that'd be two, three, four. So we're not level up Nocturne. Let's get this in play. Now that would level up Nocturne. 
So let's kill Nocturne. Alright, perfect. Perfect. Thanks, Belly Beard. I'm pretty good about winning this one. Still paint is Let's get a messenger and draw an additional card. Clad in shining sunlight. Don't love that card. Cygnus, how I missed your life. Thank the mother you're all right. What have you learned? I can still play this 5-3 Overwhelm. So I have two Mystic Shot, two Hush, two Thermogenic Beam. I don't, we haven't seen any of those. We've already drawn two of our three Get Excited, so I have seven cards I need to draw, or a Star Shaping would be good too. So that's eight, nine, ten. So I have ten cards I can draw. The rest of them don't really do anything. So I gotta draw one of ten cards. Okay, that one does something. Whatever the cost. Burn away doubt. That was one of the ten I need to draw. We'll go down to six. Oh, I should have blocked with the four one because of Pell Cascade, huh? Okay, well, wouldn't have mattered. So still go down to six. But now their Nocturne stays alive. Definitely gonna have to kill their Nocturne with my Vi. So otherwise they'll have everything be fearsome. And that's pretty scary. Let's see, so they have a bunch of so three, two, five, two, two, three. My faith protects me. I think I can attack in with like these other things too. Okay, so now so they're gonna They're gonna play their ephemeral unit. That's that's what I wanted to see if they would play that on defense. Which I'm happy a boot. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure this should work. Healing the Sump Treasure, because... Oh, wait, their they're Overwhelmed thing's going to go. The hour approaches. It is nearly time. I will be your eyes. Mm. This isn't good. Doesn't help. All right, they ended up getting me barely. Exact lethal. Going to give me one more turn. You know, basically, like, if I was at five life instead of four... Yeah, it's too bad. I just had one more life. I think that I could have maybe won that. Okay, looks like we're playing some dragons. We got our own dragons. I really wish that I didn't have I didn't have to discard the Solari Priestess on turn two, which would have had like an Aurelian Soul to discard and been able to play the Solari Priestess afterwards. Like if we could have just switched, I think that that would have made the difference in the game if we had switched. Like if we could have drawn Aurelian Soul. One of those two when we drew the Solari Priestess, and then later when we drew the Aurelian Souls, had Solari Priestess. That would have made a big difference. Alright, but anyway, let's let's keep Thermogenic Beam. Let's mulligan 
our 10 mana dragon. Good card. What we got? All pretty decent. Let's take the warrior. Let's have that for turn five. Keep them from open attacking with that. Oh, I should block the 3 2 because of my static shock. They do have the spring gifts, but yeah, I should have blocked that because of the static shock. Alright, they're not really playing something that I need to challenge with the warrior. Risky. Yeah, Pell Cascades, then they have Spring Gifts. <sighs> Made some risky plays here. A little surprised they just passed and then just cast the Spring Gifts right now. Thermogenic Beam. Um. Unyielding light. don't really need the other two. Maybe we can find good use for this Moon Silver at some point. I'm thinking Warrior can take down Screeching Dragon. I'll be surprised if we beat and be fox. That just getting random dragons with this. I, I wish I would have saved the thermogenic beam, but um you know good good hand for them. trouble. I don't need a plan. Trouble's coming at ya. So of course I can play a really in soul this turn. How am I winning this game? Come on, play something. No. I know I went with a risk. They have nine cards in hand, not ten. There's the one two punch. Man, 
yeah, I guess we played around Infinite Mind Splitter, I suppose. The two cards just don't do anything. Lieutenant, have you brought a specimen from the field? We let you keep the egg. Be content with that. It's all better than one. There's the mind splitter. What? Why wouldn't they just kill me? They just go. I'm at seven. They just go challenge, challenge. Attack. This was lethal, and those two were lethal. In multiple cases of lethal. Eight mana, that's one, two, little. So it's 15, 13, 12. Come on, I have no time. Are you kidding me? Did you see that timer? That star, son. Oh, it's 10 mana. I'm one mana short. From Skies Descend, one mana short. I, I needed the zero mana 2-1. That's what I was hoping for. We need the zero mana 2-1 challenger, and then I could have played Skies Descend. So that was that was like my goal. Was to try to grab that. We were very close. Your favorite star. I created him. Yes. Magnificent. They're so close. It's possible they don't kill me. They didn't kill me last time. When they had lethal beforehand. So maybe they play something else. Envial's Vox is so underrated. Yeah, like that just created infinite mind. Like this, this card is so underrated. They're actually attacking this time. We were so close, though, one mana away from casting that Skies Descend, and that would have been great. Playing <laughs> against not. I guess this is a Nightfall. This is just Invoke. All Targon, all day. Played against the same kind of decks. I feel pretty good about this one. I think that we're gonna do just fine with this game. Ours is the one true light. Kind of glad no Pale Cascade. That would have taken out 25% of my life total. We got two other Aurelian Souls in here that we can go find before uh, turn 10, probably. Targon's your favorite region. It's really good. All these cards just replace themselves. Know your path. I think Invoke is really powerful. It's not easy though. Like it's it's e like you can you know with all this like choice and everything, you can definitely make mistakes with the Invoke cards. Sometimes you just got easy choices like Falling Comment, but not every time. All right, so I'm telling them I have Pale Cascade. Darn. Oh, that could be like a good bluff. <clears throat> also, of like telling them I have Pale Cascade. Like, like what if I didn't have Pale Cascade but I made that attack? Just telling them that I did. 
A little surprised they had traded that off. Only a fool would enter battle unprepared. Put on me mask, secure me tail, start to die. War is everlasting. By my speed, die weakly. Excuse you. I'll take that trade. I trade my my one two for their. Um, I'm a trickster. Oh yeah, that's a pretty sparkle fly. Trade my one two for their two two. Be a long game. So they have, they have a bunch of invoke cards in hand, which is not good for me. They have even more invoke cards in hand now, which still not good for me. I like how this Mystic Shot can kill Diana. That may be important. Um. <clears throat> It was my heart. I still have a Diana. Let me pass. I guess they could pass back. I just don't want to play Warrior and they go Dust Diana. It's our time. My spirit shines. That is the wrong thing to challenge, by the way. I right, figured it out. Hey, what's up, Brad? Nope. Clad in shining sunlight. So many cards. Uh, why do we have to keep playing against Envy Hill as Vox? Man, Eclipse Dragon created that? Oh, that card is so good. Yeah, that is killer. My best play against Pale Cascade because now, now it's going to be important for me to keep my warrior alive for this cosmic inspiration. Well, never mind. Their sense travels on the night air. Yeah, I'll load a pass. Yeah, Eclipse Dragon's broken. Believe or burn. Good. Alright, 
so now I have another Celestial card for this Cosmic Inspiration. So that's the first step, I suppose. Make my units respectable. shown like any any pill cascades or pump spells or anything anywhere that will uh, have them create another dragon okay or, or they had a hush Which that's the worst case scenario because now like my get excited doesn't kill the eclipse dragon. So should just attack, kill me. And Enviolus Vox. Still broken. That and Eclipse Dragon. These two cards are incredible. Yeah, I kinda agree, Thor, that Yeah, I kind of agree that Eclipse Dragon was already really good, that I don't know if it really needed that buff. It's kind of crazy. Five games and we're just playing against the exact same thing. All five times. Well, by the exact same thing, I mean four of them are Shadow Isles. Targon, the other one. Targon, Demacia, but just all just Targon decks. Alright, let's mulligan uh, the Aurelian Souls. Mulligan the Spacey Sketcher. I think we have some good stuff going on here, but I think we're just kind of learning from playing against these similar decks that my my opponents kind of have a better combo with Duskbringer looks great. And it feels like Duskbringer would fit really well into the, in this deck that we're playing. I'm really jealous about that card. Definitely not going to let them use their mana. I expect them to have Pill Cascade. Maybe they wanted to block and Pill Cascade. Um, so four mana Thermogenic Beam works for killing the Scryer. Keep them from being able to have cheap um, invoke cards. It's, that's one reason why like Mountain Scryer is really good though, because you know it, it invokes just like my Solari Priestess, but it's like something that you got to use a removal spell also. To kill it, so... That's something that's pretty good for that card. Yeah, I love Sunburst. Basically, just jealous of all the stuff that my opponent's been doing. So they pill cascade trade with the four three. I guess I, maybe I should just attack with the one two. Okay, yeah, the mountain goat and shield bear because it, because of the yeah, the aggro and fearsome matchups that makes sense. But yeah, okay, you said it are, it doesn't do well against other invoke decks. Yeah, that that does seem like what we're. Yeah, I could I could see that I could see us built with with these get excited are really good in, in those matchups so yeah with all these get excited and and uh three twos yeah i could see us doing good against the Ask other like the fearsome messy. and aggro decks that makes sense um but yeah like the in I'm doing this but yeah that, so that makes sense we're not tuned for the invoke matchup and unfortunately that's all we're facing facing three invoke decks technically all five you know, because then the other ones are the Diana Nocturnes, which are also Invoke decks. So technically, we've, we're five for five playing against Invoke decks. And here's where I'd paint my constellation. So yeah, like having the Dust Pile Dust would be nice with 
even with the Eclipse Dragon now. Here's the fun part! Trouble coming at ya! Devotion through battle! Yeah, Rad, that card looks that card does look pretty fun to play. The zero mana ephemeral. That puts copies into the opponent's deck. That looks like that's gonna be a just a, a card that's gonna be able to create some really fun games. So I like that card, that's a fun card. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. Mm. I am more myself than ever. Well, that was a good turn for us. Let's take this Radiant Stars. Try to go find an Aurelian Soul. Make our Aurelian Soul bigger than theirs. And now, of course, it costs 9 mana, which is the amount of mana we're going to have next turn. That's convenient. Find your own light within the darkness. Yours is a light I cherish, my sister. Cool, get rid of that. Yeah, we'll just take that five. Don't really need to block. Scourge is the best one, it's just expensive. They think themselves cultured. <laughs> We'd have old Aurelian Soul would be threatening a level up with 22 out of 25. Or, you know, it would have been 22 out of 20. The dawn has with its light oh, that's really good. That gets rid of the spell shield so that they have another Falling Comet in hand. They can get rid of my Aurelian Soul, that would be really bad for me. Do I attack with you? If I attack with you... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we attack with you. We will resist. Sure. Back heretic. I mean, they're already at 20. Like, they might as well turn the Solar Priestess into a 1-2. With that guiding touch, they're already at 20. That probably won't make any difference in the game, but, you know, might as well. Kind of guessing that Sunburst for how they're just, like, sitting there thinking about it. If it was something that would kill the Aurelian Soul, I feel like they would just play it. I guess I need to actually, yes, I I need to just get excited this Solari Priestess to not let them get a Fallen Comet. I am the bulwark against darkness. Sunlight blinds. They could start a couple of things, whatever. Look at 29. I can throw a couple of Solari Priestesses away. Believe or burn back heretic. So if they, if they get rid of any of these other units, a really soul does not level up. Faith. 
I'm guessing they were going without Morning Light, really wanting to invoke. Get that six mana invoke. That's what I'm guessing. Okay, that's a good sign. Hoping they don't hit the the deal four and deal one. Does mean I'm not going to be drawing a card. We have nine in hand. We're going to be creating one with the Rillian Soul. So that's okay. No, they did find that deal four, deal one. That's the, that was like the only card for them to find with the Mountain Scryer. They could kill something there. That was the only one. I do love an audience. Unyielding light. And if they ever pass to me, I end the turn and Aurelian Soul levels up. Yeah, and that's the other thing. Yeah, spreading out allows us to actually draw cards too. Gets cards out of our hand. No, we faced we faced four Targon Shadow Owls decks, one Targon Demacia Dragon deck with Shivana really in soul. But yeah, just all all five invoke decks. Yeah, Mountain Scryer is definitely good. Yeah, Mountain Scryer is worth the deck building restriction. Getting all the uh, all your celestial cards being cheaper, and it also being I think I'm gonna obliterate that, and it also replacing itself, getting you know getting an invoke card itself. Yeah, it's a good card. I am looking forward to zero mana, all of these things. Alright, gonna lead with the most expensive one with the Scourge in case they hush Aurelian Soul again. They're basically looking at Ruination or Die, or, you know, like, Hush or Rillian Soul or something. Which maybe I'd play the Golden Sister actually first to get those to be higher pluses and maybe Living Legends. Oh no. Um, Alright, so let's see. Let's spend some mana and then play Living Legends and get our mana back. So let's go... Uh, let's see, these are like 7-7s. Seven let's go... Oh, Cascade here. Hill Cascade here. The cosmos will collapse eventually. Heal five on that thing. My 10 mana back. Okay. So everything costs a ton of mana. Just basically playing that to play another Celestial card. I'm not sure if I want to play Cosmic Inspiration or if I want to play The Great Beyond. 15 power, elusive. I should probably do that. I can definitely see them, because they've seemed like they've had Pill Cascade for a while, so I think, yeah, I think they're going to have Pill Cascade here and trade. But, I mean, they would trade. Okay, Hush, that's great for me. Yeah, it's better than, you know, so that's, that's one less Hush in their, in their hand. 
for other important cards. Well, they needed that removal for Aurelian Soul to stay alive, right? Like that card that they just had, they needed that to stay alive. So we, we play on. Get Excited works really well with all of my 7 mana cards. It just fits my curve pretty well. Fits my hand pretty well. Night flowers upon my blade. Lame. The enemies of day will fall. We have been destroyed by Eclipse Dragon today. Alright, so yeah, that, that's a good thing to create, I suppose. How many of these can you stop, opponent? Our sun will not set today. The sun's splendor reveals. Sixteen power overwhelm still. They've used two hush. They have to make that block. It's the only block they can make. Can't do that. Gaze into the light. Definitely can't do that. And there we go. Get excited. Okay, so we ended up going two and three with our Aurelian Soul Vi deck. GG's. Not too bad. Uh, especially considering how, um, yeah, the person that made this said that, you know, it's not really built for other invoke decks. And, you know, we ended up going two and three against them. So that works out pretty well. Um, I can see this being pretty good though against like the fearsomes with the get excited, which which the get excited were pretty nice, just kind of in in general. Like the three damage was really important in a lot of matchups. So yeah, I could see this against like other like aggressive decks, like being you know pretty good against aggro and then going over the top of them with your eclipse dragon or really soul. Um, the other the other control decks, though, we kind of had, like, too much, like, removal and, and things like that. Um, but I, w I would be interested in seeing how uh, Spacey Sketcher, or not, uh, sorry, not Spacey Sketcher, but Lunari Dustbringer, how Lunari Dustbringer would fit in here, creating that dust. The dust you can discard to, gives you another discard outlet for Sketcher, get excited, um, some treasure, give you another discard outlet for those kind of cards, and then also allow you to play Eclipse Dragon a little easier. I don't know, something to think about. Something to definitely think about with like that. Um, and uh, we saw Envialis Vox be really, uh, really nice. I wonder how that would be, like control deck with like Eclipse Dragon, Envialis Vox, Aurelian Soul. Yeah, a little surprised we didn't face any Go Hard. Yeah, it was just all all Targon decks. Okay, well, there we go. That's a really insult Vi. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And, of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I always love seeing those. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.